Welcome back everybody to another Let's Play video here on the channel and today we are going to be going back to the 80s by playing Pac-Man the card game. Whole new level. A whole new level and this card game comes with level one and level two and we're going to be playing level one today. So let's get started. You want to do a rundown of very briefly what we're doing in this game? We're going to be drawing cards and trying not to die. So we're going to see what we're going to do here. Should I go first or? The official rules state that whoever makes the best Pac-Man sound goes first. And I know I can't do that even though I can hear it in my head well, until the end of time. Why don't you try? Yeah, I think yours is better. You see? So uh, you go first. So I will just draw cards and I take them into my hand unless I get a special or I get a ghost or I get yeah. three ghosts. Yeah. If you get three ghosts, then you lose. Okay. So draw. Draw. So I got a special, so I reveal it. And it is a ghost with an arrow pointing upward. Which means if you have a ghost, you get to pass it to me. I don't. So nothing happens. Nothing happens. That's no, 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 no. What? You can only draw three cards at a time. Okay. So I drew three cards. You've already messed up my man. All right. Almost without warning. So my first card is that. Okay. Oh, that means we get to swap the handsies. We swap hands. Or I think it's the whole hand. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Well, you get to draw one more card. Okay, so now I go. I draw. I draw. Ooh, I draw. Ooh, I draw. Ooh, I draw. I think that's four cards. Oh, wait. Okay, we're going to start over. You, you, you need to just play I'll just put that one back. Yeah, we got to play properly, man. What are you, do you even count, bro? No, I, can, I for some reason I keep thinking it's like a press your luck, so you just keep drawing until you want to stop. See, we learned in Hot Topic years ago that Jeremy can't count. Here, wait. Oh, here. Put it back on top. And we'll, we'll shuffle. And uh, ah. he's never lived that down, and also he can't shuffle. I mean, I can't shuffle, but he too cannot shuffle. I have a really creaky chair today. We always have creaky chairs. This one's creakier than normal. Like I'm barely moving and it's freaking creaking. So there you go. So what? I You stopped your turn. So now it's just my turn. Uh-huh. Here. You got a ghost. Oh, that's lame. Wow. I, uh, I lose here because that's a double ghosty. Oh. I win. Yes, you do. Well, here, ha pass me the cards and I will shuffle them again and we'll just play a game where I don't make mistakes this time. Ah, uh, oh yes. Jeremy not making mistakes is very important to me. And I'll move the ghosts into different spots in the deck so I can shuffle and they won't be like right next to each other. Okay. We're going to shuffle. Shuffle, truffle? Truffle, shuffle? Do you want to go first or second? You make the better sound, therefore you must go first. All right. I will put it down. I will draw. I will draw again. I will draw for a third time, and then I will stop. Okay. I will draw. I will draw again. Exchange hands. Ah. Oh. I will draw again. Good. Uno. Doso. Treso. It's like queso. I will draw. I will draw again. What the heck? I don't want to keep exchanging my damn hand. 
I like the hand that I have. Oh, my hand was better than yours. You mean the hand I had? I know. I, I get to draw one more, right? All right, well, I'm counting. You're supposed to be counting. Count your own stuff, man. All right. All right. One, two, and three. I'm going to shut down now. You're going to shut down? So now you. I have to decide when I want to shut down. So I just keep drawing now until I want to shut down? I believe so. Okay. Because you're the only one left. Okay. Okay. I give you a ghost, but you're not in you're not in the uh the game. I am going to keep drawing. Okay. Alright, I'll shut down now. Okay. So I have one ghost. I too. And I did not draw anything. I did not draw any ghosts that entire time up until that one. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. That's ten. Fourteen. And change. Maybe it was only supposed to be drawn three more and then shut down. But whatever. I don't care. I'll even, even if it was, I didn't think it, it would have been fine. So, uh... What do we think of this game? Let's give it a little review now that we're at the table. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's easy to play. It It's easy to teach. So, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's just a draw card, sometimes play a card kind of game. And it's you can't really expect very much from it. But if you're just absentmindedly playing a game, then, you know, it's fine. You can take it around with you and... Play it with most ages, all ages, pretty much. But does it capture the essence of Pac-Man? Um, I mean, it would be kind of difficult to capture the essence of Pac-Man. If it had something to do with movement, then I would say yes. I don't think this necessarily captures Pac-Man. This could have been anything. I think it has a Pac-Man skin, but doesn't feel like Pac-Man. Like, yes, it has the elements of Pac-Man, like the ghosts and whatnot. But I feel like you need movement in order to create Pac-Man. Like, I think it would be better if let's say they had a grid that you would set up and one person's Pac-Man and one person's the ghost, or there's a team of ghosts and they're trying to move toward you while you're trying to get through a level, but like on a table. Yeah. And maybe you move like once at a time where Pac-Man gets to move three times. Maybe you could like draw and play movement cards that have like arrows on them. Or like that. You have a set number of movements and then it alternates Something, but this doesn't feel like Pac-Man to me, and I don't feel like it's a balanced game. There's so many times where I'm like, I can't get another ghost after drawing two in my first turn, and then I just lose. Yeah. And then I sit there, and I'm like, well, that was that was fun. That was a good time. Yeah. I enjoyed myself. Your expectations can't be very high with this, but I do, and I do think that if you just made this literally any theme that has a bad thing you don't want a lot of, and special cards and number cards it could be anything it has nothing to do with pac-man so i don't know it's fine for what it is I would mean, you recommend people get this i don't think it's a great game i think your money's better spent elsewhere yeah allocate it towards a better game because games can be expensive even though this one's not very expensive no i think it like high end is maybe 15 dollars, but you could spend that 15 dollars on a good game like exploding kittens or unstable unicorns yeah something like that if you like this Let's Play content here on the channel, please let us know by liking the video. Comment down below, what is your favorite video game themed board game? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Tasha Valenza, a.k.a. Poison Ivy, and you've just been watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch.